what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back welcome back to some more god of high school yes sir we are back in the saddle once again even though i just finished watching episode three because i'm binge watching the show but i will be uploading these episodically every day so once episode one drops then every day after that i'll drop an episode on the channel hopefully you guys are ready to go forward so as i said before when it comes on to this anime it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything story heavy but i'm interested in the lore of you know whatever it is that they're trying to introduce these seems like people in this have some godly powers you see one of the administrators pull out some stand like in in jojo's you know what i'm saying bizarre adventure kind of stuff so um i don't know what that's about i don't know if everybody can attain that power or is it something special to certain people or whatever the situation is we saw that in the second episode with the slipper dude right um that he pulled out some crazy moves and the, and i think it was the girl administrator that blocked it and then jin took him out but in any case, it seems like they have some sort of superpowers. Um, I think that's what Park was trying to unlock with Jin. And he did show up. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was taking care of that dude, you know, in his base form, if you want to call it that. But then when he pulled out the... I'm guessing that's what they're calling the, the karaoke or charioke or whatever. Um, so when he pulled that out, you know, Jin started running because he didn't know what was going on. And I think that's i think that's what they're trying to pull out of Jin. i think that's what park is trying to to pull out of him to see if he's the real deal you know what i'm saying because um with some relationship between him and the grandfather i don't know if park knows the grandfather personally and i think that's why he speared him because he's like oh if this is Jin tejin you know what i'm saying like Jin. i think Jin is their last name right so I don't I think his name is actually Jin's name is actually Mori, right? I think Jin Mori, right? So Mori would be like his first name and I think Jin is the the last name of these characters. So you got Tejin and Mori, but we're going to call him Jin because whatever. That's just how we do it. People call me by my last name sometimes. It's not a big deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's the easier one to remember anyway. So um so yeah man i'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to do next and what else they're going to introduce as i said the lore is beginning to become very important and we're not seeing much of it yet but i think the lore is going to become very important for this show so we'll see how that goes anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always make sure to hit the like button we're about to jump into the episode so make sure you hit the like button right now so you're not disturbed while you're watching the reaction man just hit the like button subscribe too if you haven't yet okay let's do this let's go who is this random person what is that a bentley <laughs> gotta be kidding me Huh? <laughs> what? Bonds. Really? She actually said yes? Why? Oh, 
curious to know how the hell. So he just picks her out of a crowd and be like, that's the girl I want to marry. If he's so popular, why would he go for her? What? <laughs> Yo. There's got to be something behind this. There's no way. There is no way, bro. That this is. He's for real. Gotta be the dad's brother, I think. Yeah, I want to know too. Still kind of weird though, bro. <laughs> so HQ just give out. <laughs> HQ just gives out. People's addresses. <laughs> That's so weird. If you never learn anything from me today, <laughs> let me tell you this. Guys out there, women out there, marriage is not about love. It's part of it, yes, but it's not about love. I had to learn it the hard way, but I'm telling you, it's not about love. Like, love is a part of it, but it's it's a very minor part of marriage. Love plays a part in it working yes but it is a very minor part of having that relationship and being married to that um person you know for for years to come or for the rest of your life if you want to call it that it's not about that so what jen is trying to do right now like i'm not for i understand why she's trying to do it he says that you know, it's, it's basically what marriage is supposed to be about. Marriage is supposed to be a, a contract, an agreement on doing things together and getting things done. This is what you can do for me. This is what I can do for you. Let's come together, make it happen. That's what marriage is. I hate to to um to explain it like that and make and make it seem like you know it's a very simple thing, but it really is. It's just that it's just that human beings innately could work together but because of how society is and the things that we are learning today it just makes it harder that's why you have um 50 percent divorce rate at least in the west right so for for me with the way how i the way how i look at it right is marriage is supposed to both parties are supposed to come together and realize what marriage is which is it's a contract for us to accomplish things together, right? So I attend to your needs, you attend to my needs. It's as simple as that. Um, whatever we choose to, to work towards, it can't be that I'm compromising. And a lot of people talk about, oh, compromise is a big part of marriage. I get that, but you gotta compromise for the right things, not for the wrong things. You have to have an agreement before you sign that contract, that marriage license, right? 
you have to have an understanding of what we're trying to achieve together. It can't be because of love. Love is not going to maintain a marriage. Okay. It's not going to, because there's so many different aspects of marriage of two people coming together and understanding what they're getting themselves into. It's not just about love. If you marry for love, I'm telling you, you're doomed to fail. Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? So I just want you guys to know that he just because they're bringing it up here. Um, Jin is telling her you don't even love the guy. Sometimes it's not even about that. Sometimes it's be it's because he can help me get something done that I don't think I can get done for myself. You get what I'm saying? And that's the reason why and that's the reason why she's doing it. I'm pretty sure that you know what I'm saying I still think that in in the context of the in the context of the show right in the context of the show it's just kind of weird what he's doing don't get me wrong you know what i'm saying i'm just saying like for him what is he getting out of it because as i said it's transactional what is he getting out of it because it can't be just you just you know read up about this girl using moonlight style and just be like oh i studied up about it and i just want to help like there's got to be something there you get what i'm saying like that just doesn't make any sense Let's get back to it. What's with the red noses? That's another thing too that I don't I don't get. The holy sword. It's a wooden. So it's, it's a, is it a special sword? Okay, Han. Yeah. This man just... <laughs> like Thank you. 
Oh! Yo, that's crazy. Oh, what? She didn't even flinch. Monkey arm. <laughs> they do need the sword oh damn there's something about that sword that she probably doesn't know about Did he just flatline? Oh, damn. That's who he was doing all of this for. Bad timing, buddy. Very bad timing. Yikes. Well, they were asking for it. Why are you always oversleeping? You have an alarm clock. Come on, dude. For real? Ah, damn. Oh, that friendship is over. The hell, dude? Damn, these got a little serious there at the end. Damn, it's crazy. <laughs> I didn't expect him to do that. Like, all right, so that was episode four of the God of High School, and the 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 thing about it that I that I enjoyed um, there um, during this episode was they showed they showed a different side of what you know what these characters are about so random dude from the cult as we learned later on you know just came up to mirror and be like ah uh, i want you know marry me blah 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 so i was like shouldn't you ask yourself some questions before <laughs> before you accept this you know what i'm saying shouldn't you be asking yourself like why this random dude i never seen before wants to marry me you know it just kind of 
it, it, it's like way out of the blue <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's way out of the blue somebody just randomly comes up to you hey i want to marry you and i'm saying never seen it before in my life but i marry you <laughs> you know what i'm saying so mira um jumped into it and as i said sometimes storylines can be convoluted when it comes on to certain things and it will have you confused as to what's going on until they actually really reveal what's actually going on which is he's a part of the cult they wanted a sword is either you you know you cozy up to the to the to the user of the sword or you take the sword itself um so he chose the latter after the marriage thing didn't work out because I'm, I'm i'm guessing they're still trying to protect themselves you know these cult people um I guess they're still trying to protect themselves against um if they find out or whatever the situation is they don't know what what, what you know for this guy to be that influential and be a part of a cult like that's a problem problem so we still need to know more about um these people of course i'm looking forward to finding more about them because it's it, it, it's one of those things where um i you know i want to know more but at the same time, it's like, you know, don't rush into it. You know what I'm saying? Don't rush into it because the thing about it is like some stories do tend to, you know what I'm saying? Rush things too much and, and try to give you too much information at once and don't let things kind of lead and let people have theories and stuff like that. So I don't want him to rush it too much because that's one of the complaints that I got when um, this show was suggested on the channel last year was that they rushed it in the anime and a lot of the the fleshing out of certain things in the story was not done very good so um so yeah man i'm keeping my eye on the pause to see how they do it and how they reveal things to, to us in time i mean four episodes in out of 13 i don't expect to know much about it until second third season into this anime we shouldn't know too much about what's going on until like second season third season into an anime in my opinion you shouldn't know too much you should know who your main characters are you should know what the problem is you should know very little lore in my opinion you should know very little lore about an anime in 13 episodes you should not know a lot you know so we'll see where they end up at the end of the first season you know um so we're getting to know the characters man and and you know it's just kind of sad to see what han has to go through there at the end of the episode um you know he lost his friend it seemed like he flatlined and he was doing all of this working two jobs and trying to win this tournament for this guy and he died so you know what's next you know what i'm saying um what's next for him he, he beat up mira bad he, he went for the injury and stuff like that like that's just wrong on so many levels and the thing about it is that a lot of times people feel like they're in this alone space and when things happen to them they could care less about friends or anything like that you know what i'm saying like to to they just happen to be to meet and become friends they haven't been friends that long i don't know who this dude is to him is it his friend i don't know if it's a family member it could have been a brother his brother they didn't specifically said anything so just that's why i'm just calling him a friend you know what i'm saying so it could be his brother because when his brother was talking to him his brother was saying that you know his sister took up jobs but but that's the thing too if he was talking to someone who's not just a friend in han right wouldn't he would not have said um my sister took took up you know took up another job he would have called her by name that's just how language works you get what i'm saying when you're talking about somebody that's familiar or you're talking to someone that's familiar you usually you usually um say to them you know what i'm saying you usually um What's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for a specific word and it just won't come out. Um, you you usually um, respond to them or call them by name in conversations. You won't say, unless you're talking to somebody who you don't know, you get what I'm saying, which they obviously know each other, 
right so he said my sister that's why i'm thinking that it might um that it might just be a friend because in that conversation he didn't say the name he said my sister so that's why i'm thinking that maybe they're not related in any way so that's just my opinion but in any case um this was a great episode man um i don't know what's going to happen next it's gonna be one crazy match when they meet up in the finals because i don't think jen is gonna lose to whoever is gonna fight um some no name person that he's gonna fight in the semis so him and him and um han is gonna fight in the final so so looking forward to that anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man it's your boy terror by react you all ready no hit that like button comment if you have not done so already and of course as always subscribe if you're new it's your boy terry by reacts and i'm out Peace.